Hello today. I don't really know what kind of videos I'm gonna keep making, but I do know what makes me happy. And so I'm gonna share this because why not? So I went to my thrift store to grab some fabric samples so that I had more options when making junk journal covers for some art journals that I wanna make. And they were having a sale on fabric samples. So I got a billion of them. And I don't know if, so you know, if you're interested in just seeing a bunch of gorgeous fabrics, then you can hang in here and check them all out with me. So I got this, which is a, look at how gorgeous this is. I got this, it, it's a window treatment sample book. So these are all curtains but they are all embroidered with this, you know, gold and white. This is exactly my type of aesthetic. And I, they, so they all have these papers sewn around them. And I figure for a, um, an art journal cover, what I can do is just take the whole sample and glue it onto, you know, like a hardcover or some cardstock or something and just have a per like, you know, I'll cut this ugly part off and have just like a perfect base for a cover and then I can embellish that. These are already a great size for a journal. They're going to be a bit small once I cut that off. But this, you know, elongated document size kind of journal will just be so gorgeous I can't believe I have all of these and they're just amazing look at that I mean I can use some of them for detailing you just cut this out and use it somewhere so I have all of these fabrics that I got I I see a lot of carpet sample books but oh my god but I don't very often see curtain sample books I would take these as my curtains. Like, look at how gorgeous this all is. This is just ideal. I am in love with this. Oh my god, this. I feel so grateful and lucky today. I can't believe that this has come to me. I, each one of these is just everything I would ever want. And there's so many of them. I paid, see, I'm not the first person who, who has, cut these out and crafted with them but I only paid three dollars for this whole book and I feel blessed to have it so there's what we got in that and if you're watching this I hope and you I hope you are as lucky as I am in finding treasures these are absolute treasures and then I got these other fabric samples. These are actually upholstery fabric swatches. They just had a bunch of little scraps that I picked up. I got, you know, they just have such lovely embroidery on them that some of these, I'm not sure how big they're actually going to be. But again, that's just enough to make a journal out of. And especially, I was thinking if some of these are too small, then I would cut and I could use a different fabric for the, sp for the spine and pair them up like that and just have some gorgeous, amazing journal covers or at least some bases. Some of them I might put like a book plate on them. I got this shiny fabulousness here. I got, this one is so cute. And I have two more. Like this one is kind of plain, so I would pr definitely put some embellishment or some lace on here. And then um, a set, uh, in addition to all of these, I got some grab bags. These were, I think, $2 to fill a bag. So I got so lucky. I think this, I'm not going to use this for a journal cover. I was thinking I could use it in like a collage or as lace or even making like some 
back it with paper and make some envelopes out of it or something. And these are not as decorative, but I think as a base, they'll be absolutely lovely. And it's always good to just have scrappies for collage. I really want to make envelopes out of this. And this one is pretty wild for my normal taste, these two, but I'm making a journal for my little sister and I thought she, this just makes me think of her. So I'm going to ask her if she wants, especially this one. This one is gorgeous, but yeah, I, I can't believe how lucky I am. So this is a cover that I've already started and this is what I'm talking about. You just have like a really nice fabric in the back. And then you can sew something on, you know, some lace and some ribbons. And then you have a perfect, gorgeous journal cover. And that's what I'm planning to do with all of these. I mean, now I have enough to make a thousand journals. Uh, these are just some, they're very thin. I, I do have some ideas for these, um, but I think they'll have to be layered in order to be substantial enough. But it just is, it looks so vintage and so classic and elegant. I think it will be a gorgeous thing to make a journal out of. And then I have some with gold just some different things. I'm not sure I would do a whole journal cover with something like this. It's very, very, very flashy, but maybe half of a journal cover, you know, like sew two together and have the bottom part be super shiny and the top part be something more mellow. Maybe even those together would be gorgeous. And then I have, these are velvety soft. Oh, you can definitely see that. It's all shiny and crinkly. It just looks so vintage, and I'm not sure if these actually are vintage or where they came from because I got them from the thrift store, but they this one as well is perfectly soft, and I just think that would make the most comforting, lovely cover for someone. And then I got, well, here's another little one. Which will probably have to be, you know, a spine or half half of a cover. Look, it's actually pretty big. Look at that. Perfect size. And then I got these. Okay, so these are very plain, but these, these are exactly my colors that I love. Love, love, love these colors. So I will dress them up and embellish them, maybe combine it with something more patterned, but I could make some fall themed journals or even just, I mean, this fabric is just gorgeous. This is actually a very strange fabric. I think I'm going to use this as paper, not as fabric, because it is very thin. It, it feels like paper. Um, you know the, those paper towels that are more cloth-like? That's what kind of texture this is, but it's just gorgeous. I know I can make some really amazing ephemera out of this. So that's my plan for this. What else do I have? I got some grab bags with a lot of samples. And these, some of these are more decorative. Some of these are older looking. Here's a floral print. I just think I can do some amazing things with these fabrics. I got these two little cuties, which I don't, I don't plan, I don't think I'll make a, maybe I will make a journal cover or, you know, some ephemera or something. They're, they're very pinkish in person. And then I got stuff like this, just maybe that could be a tie or I can use it as a ribbon or something. This one actually has like a vintage floral print on it. It's very dark. It's a lot darker than it looked when I was holding it up close. But I just think it'll be gorgeous as part of a journal. 
and some more of this sheer kind of stuff. This one, which reminded me of a William Morris kind of a pattern. Just some little scraps that I can make anything I want or layer up. Like some of the, I mean, these are just so gorgeous. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I got some blue. This one will definitely be a journal cover, probably more than one. That's gorgeous. I got some of this purple stuff, which is way more reddish purple than it looks. I can't really see. And some white. Look at that. I was thinking, there were several that I found. Here's another one that were white, and they just had dots or squares. And I'm not sure I would use white for a journal cover because it might get dirty really easily. But... I might try to dye them because I love the polka dots and I love this. This is very soft linen. It feels lovely. So I, I was thinking I might try dyeing the fabrics. This one kind of looks like a tea towel. But again, it's just gorgeous. I'm sure I can find some sort of ruffle or something to make out of this beautiful color and texture. Oh, here's something interesting that I got. So I don't actually know what this is at all, but it's non-rippable, foamy stuff. It's very durable. And I just think this is 100% perfection for making a journal cover out of. So I would just cut it to size, and then this will be my base as a journal cover because first of all, it feels so cushy and plush and gorgeous to hold this. And all I would have to do is sew fabric on it, and it will, it's thick, it'll hold up very well to, you know, the binding and the everyday wear and tear of the journal use. And I got all of this as part of my bag. So that I'm going to use as a construction material to add some durability to some journals. This is just a very basic, plain fabric, a gray. I did get some plain ones. This one is shiny, like kind of shimmery and a very light gray color. Look at these things that I got. I just feel so lucky. And I got a random scrap. This is also very durable. I could make a tiny book out of it, but I probably will just cut them, use smaller, smaller parts of this because it would be perfect for like a little book plate or something. I love that. Here's some velvety stuff, gorgeous. And this is very thin, but I love the pattern on it. So I will try, I will find something to do with that. I got two little scrappies. I got some blue, some more of this, just gorgeous. And some more of this sheer stuff. They had quite a bit of this and I just grabbed it all up. I feel like I could, you know, even rip off a section of it and use it to tie on top of a tag for a cute little ruffle. Uh, it's just gorgeous is why I got it, to be honest, because it just makes me happy to look at it. And so I will find a way to use it so that someone else can be happy when they look at it. This one's shimmery. It's got glitter all in it. This is just some denim nice texture, a nice material, durable. And then they had a couple of leather scraps in there. Here's another sheer. Look at that purple. It's a very deep purple in person. They had some scraps of leather, which I mean, I am a sucker for leather. I just, how could you get a better journal cover? Look at that, that is so gorgeous. So I scooped those right up. And another one here. This one's got a bit more of a... And I actually, I'm not super, super crazy. I don't have... My, I have the smallest, smallest selection of fabric right now. And I just sort of made my first set of journals. And this is what, this is where I'm at. 
creatively. This is my happy place. I recently, you know, I didn't recently discover it, but I haven't known about art journals and junk journals for that long. Um, but I've always, always, always had a collection of books and pretty things that I did not know how to use that I always wanted to use. And this is the absolute perfect way for me to combine everything that I love and I am so in. So I didn't have very many scraps. I went to go make some covers and I didn't have very many. So I, I was hoping to just go and get a starter kit, you know, just, I would have been happy with, with these by themselves. Just some really nice fabric that I could start with mixing and matching and I can't believe I mean they were just having a sale and this white is another one that I would try to dye probably into like a nice pink or orangey or brown color but yeah I just ended up getting lucky and I took full advantage this one I don't know if you can see this but it's got tiny little embroidered buds. It's just so pretty. Here we go. Oh, look at that. So cute. So, just a bunch of beautiful things that I will make into other things. This one's about like a corduroy material. And I just love creating, I love putting things together, and I can't wait to make all of these into book covers. Here's another shiny little bit. I got some black tool. Again, I think I want to try to use this one in my sister's book, because it's going to be kind of dark and moody. Here's another white with a gorgeous pattern on that I could try to dye. Another little leather scrap. This one's a, a light gray, almost a white leather. I love leather. It's just so durable and it's it's it feels so good. And I think having a journal made out of leather is classy and elegant and I love them. And they also hold up well. This is uh, silver, like very silver. And it's also just, it's kind of papery, you know, it's the kind of fabric that's super thin and super durable, so it'll be easy to collage and it'll add durability to anything I make with it. This is just a nice piece of linen. It looks vintage, it looks, it feels like the, the old cotton fabric that is hard to find these days, but that one's gorgeous. And here, some more sheer, it's like peachy pink in real life, just like absolute perfection. Just the kind of thing that I go for. So I have a million pieces now that I can make things into. I don't, um, I don't know quite how I'm gonna use all these yet, but I am at no loss of options when it comes to what to create with. This one is like a pinkish kind of a, pinkish gray kind of a suede kind of fabric. Look at this, gorgeous. And there's, I can't wait to use this one, it's just gorgeous. Look at, I'll have to do something about that. And then one more piece is some creamy white leather. And actually here's one more piece, a silk. I can't believe, I mean even just looking at these next to each other is just, look at this. It is so elegant and so gorgeous and I can't believe that I found all these things. I can't believe that I got them on sale. I just feel so blessed today so I hope that this video is inspiring to whoever, you know, is watching it. If you're in the market for some scrappies, I hope that you are as lucky as I am because this is my dream come true. 
And then I actually picked up a few more things while I was there to use in my journals. I'll just show you. I mean, I have no space on my desk, but I'll show you some things. Look at that. Some cute little stamps that I found. Some doilies. What else? Some paper. Just some parchment paper. They had just a huge amount of it. And then I got some lace. I mean, even just look at this. This and one of these would make the most gorgeous, elegant co cover. And some more lace. That is a gorgeous piece of trim. I cannot wait to use this. I have so many new favorite things now. I have some, just some pink ribbon and some more trim. This one is silver. I love all of these. These textures are just so much what I love to look at and play with and make things with. Some black lace. And another little grab bag of black lace. Perfect. So gorgeous. And I don't think you need anything specific to be able to create with, you know? You can just go to your shop and see what they have. I've been thrifting for the past few weeks and I haven't found anything, so... If you're getting started or even if you're just running low and you're looking for <clears throat> you've been looking and you're getting a little frustrated just keep trying because you never know when they're gonna have a sale or when you're gonna find that perfect stash that you can pick up and like I didn't pay very much for these I got them for a dollar I'm so grateful I can't believe that this store exists I can't believe that I get to have all these gorgeous things. Here's some more trim. And here's some cute little hearts I can put in. And some washi. Look how cute that washi is. And a map. So yeah, just keep your hopes up and just keep looking. It will pay off. And I hope it pays off soon for you. And then the last thing that I got, I haven't looked at these at all yet, but I got these two grab bags of trim and lace. So I am going to make myself some space on this desk because this is piled literally a foot high with all of these goodies that I just found. So I'm going to clear this off and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to go through these bags. Okay, so I'm back. And here's what I have, and we'll just see what's in these bags. I'll start with the white lace. These are a complete mystery. I haven't peeked at all in these yet. Well, that's fun. So let's just pull these out and see what we have. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. I just love... I mean, part of the fun is getting all these surprises. I don't tend to like the ones that are, you know, kind of rounded at the top, but I'm sure I can do something gorgeous with this. Especially maybe, you know, I'll try to dye it and make it age it a little or make it a nice color. That's the, that's why I picked the white because I figured I could turn it into any color that I wanted if it, or, you know, experiment with it if it wasn't my favorite like these. I don't hate them, but I don't really think, I don't know how to use them yet, is what I'll say about them. So, there is a lot of that. Most of this bag actually looks like it's going to be these kind of collars. I mean, that would just look gorgeous though, on a journal around the middle, as maybe a tuck, especially after I dyed it, a matching to match the fabric I'm using. So. Probably these will be absolutely gorgeous. They're so cute. I just think it'll add a good vibe. But I've never used them before, so we'll see how I end up using them. Here's a tiny little piece. 
I could probably sew this to the edge of an envelope or a card. Just take any little thing and give it a little trim. That's cuter. <laughs> I love that. So already I'm having ideas. This piece I love. This I would use on a cover. You know, something like this. And then you can add another level. Gorgeous. And I got a lot of it, so that's that's one of my favorite, favorite things. This is just so pretty. It's tiny, so I'll have to do something tiny with it, but it'll make whatever it's on just a treasure. And this stuff, wow, it's cinched on both sides. Oh, it's elastic. That's gorgeous. So maybe I can make a closure with it or something. It is very stark white, so. But I don't know if I would want to dye this one. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Another little ruffle. This is so cute. I just, I got really lucky. I got really lucky. This one, so I guess my lighting is not fantastic. Here. That helps a little. Sorry, I'm still really new to filming. I just figured out the basics. It's hard to edit and it's hard to have good lighting and I don't have like big cameras. I just have these lights at my desk, so I'm trying my best. Here's this one and this one. And there's still more. This bag was humongous. A tiny little scrap. That could be part of, you know, like a little cluster or something. I've watched all the videos, so I know what a cluster is now. That looks very, yeah, another little scrap of that one. And that is lovely. That's one of my favorites. I can't wait to use these. Oh, I didn't even show this one yet, but that one's... I like all these little detail -y ones. And then another ruffle. And then this one. See, I like the thicker ones just because they feel more substantial. But this, of course, will add some beauty to something. So there's my pile of lace that I can add to things. And I can't wait to jump in and dye some of this. This one's a bit obnoxious. What am I, I'm probably gonna re-gift this back to the shop. But every other one, I think I can do something fantastic. This one, I'm not sure what I'm gonna find. Well, let's see. If I had a cover, that was a blank cover. <laughs> Give it a little skirt. I mean, there's something really cute about that. <laughs> I might, I might, I might, <laughs> I might have to try that. Or, mm, I don't like that. But the skirt, <laughs> I do love the skirt. So maybe there's something. But these smaller ones definitely will give me, you know, plenty of options to beautify everything I make in life. Okay, and then I have a off-white trim, another fat, fat, fat bag, and let's just see what's in this one. I, I hate it. <laughs> Look what's in here. <laughs> I don't even know what this is, but it looks so gross. It's like a poodle. I guess this is what a grab bag is, right? You never know what you're gonna get. I don't know about this. I this I can't use this. I don't I don't see any value. I I mean somebody made it, so somebody likes it. It would be used for something, but I would I would not put this in a journal. This is not my taste and I can't even stretch to think. That I would want that, so I'm gonna re-gift that back to the shop. 
And I think we're in the same boat with this thing. It just looks like a big monster, <laughs> monstrosity of a lace. I hate it. Okay, I, I'm sorry, but this doesn't look, I, I mean, fine. Okay, so, I did get some more things. I did get some more things. We're not, we're not using these. I don't like them. Even I was thinking maybe I take these balls off and use them, but no, I hate them. This one, I hate less, but I still, no. I have too many gorgeous things to use to be messing with that. Okay. I could do something with this. This is, this is kind of exquisite, actually. Maybe if I had, if I sewed it to the edge. Or maybe along the spine. I don't know. I don't know what I... It's kind of chunky for a cover, and it's kind of chunky for... It, it would never fit inside a journal, but it's gorgeous, so we'll keep that as a possibility. This is a definite... This is perfection. I could use this on anything, and we don't care if it has a tear in it. We'll just use the part that's good, and I got a little a couple of strips of that. Ooh, this one is perfect. So these are very nice, these these few. I could find something gorgeous to do with those. I'm not quite sure how to use them, but they're gorgeous. I think, even as, now that I have these and I'm looking at this big one, it's just so big, I'm not sure what I could do with it, but I'll keep it. And this one is not hideous. It could be nice. Yeah, I think this one is kind of cute. We could use that too. So, I got a half a bag on this one. <laughs> and those other ones. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> what a mess. I wonder if I give this to my dog, what he would do with it. But no, I won't. I will give it back to the shop so that somebody else who knows how to use it will adopt it and use it but it's not going to be me because I just see it as hideous but you know some things aren't for everyone and somebody will know how to make it pretty I don't so yeah I really made out today and I appreciate you all watching and sharing my gorgeous stuff with me and I hope you're all inspired to dip into your own stash and make some cute things out of the gorgeous stuff you already own or go shopping and try to find some good bargains wherever you live because I just did it. It happens in real life. You can get so lucky and achieve everything in your entire dreams. I don't know why. I mean, I just got so lucky. I went last week and they had nothing. I was specifically looking for fabric because I'm making my mom a journal right now and they had nothing. And... I think they were just saving it up because she told me today that they had a huge, huge back stock that they just put it all out today for a sale and I just went on a whim and they had everything I ever, my heart could ever want fabric wise. So yeah, here's some cute stuff. Look at that. So anyway, I hope you all have a marvelous rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I just wanted to come back on and show you. I made a couple. So this one I had already made before. This isn't my new stuff, but this is the kind of cover that I'm talking about. This one's the one I'm making for my mom. It's so cute. I'll put a pocket here to cover that up. And then I just made these two from the stuff that I got. This is uh, one of those fabrics and some of those cute little laces and that can have some stuff tucked in there. A cute little start to a journal cover right and then that opens to and then I have this one this is a tuck little lace here and I just think that these will be so fantastic once I put some signatures in there
and I'm feeling very happy and inspired. But I have to leave. I only had time for these, so just a tiny little inspiration for you. I hope that everything goes fantastic in your creativity today. Bye!